that we had our first kiss on the same night. Oh. <laughs> in the same room. Just asking you for your virgin. For the first time on our wedding night. Hello, folk fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and let's get started. If you guys don't know us, my name is Sydney Forsyth. This is my husband, Dylan Forsyth. And today, we're going to be talking all about our first time. Oh, yeah. It's plural, our first times with an S. First times, parentheses, S, parenthesis. close parentheses. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, we kind of clickbaited you guys a little bit in this, but still gonna be a fun video and wait till the end and then you won't be clickbaited. My first sugar-free Red Bull. Ooh, still sounds just as satisfying, I will say. Cheers. Mm. So yummy. Whoa, it tastes like... Huh. Interesting. Okay, we'll just start here. What was your first job? My first job, I was a lifeguard. I he was so tan when he lifeguarded because he was in the sun all summer and mm. I got super dark. I was super lucky because I did not have to save anyone. I was so scared. He always would talk about how scared he was like someone would drown on his watch because like he could do it but he was scared of it. I could not sleep at night. It was it was a stressful job even <laughs> though it wasn't, you know? Yeah. My family owns a DJ business, which we don't really do it that much anymore, but all the kids would like take turns learning how to DJ and then kind of being in charge of it. So for a while I was like DJing middle school dances and like helping with weddings and stuff like that. So that was fun. What yes. was the first animal you've ever got? Um, whenever I was born, my family had a black lab and her name was Liberty. And we had her until she was like 17. She went deaf and blind and oh. could like barely even function so we had to put her down but that was my first animal like I was born with her but mm -hmm. the first animal that I got myself I think it might have been my cat I had a cat and his name was Tiger I think was his actual name but we call them Meow 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 Mix <laughs> Meow Fred Meow Master anything with the word wow. meow we would call him that and yeah don't know what happened to him he was like a cat that just he was like the neighborhood cat and so he would just be gone and then come and go and come and then like we moved and he never came back. But he used to get in fights behind our a house was like a little forest and he would get in fights all the time with like animals and Foxes come back. And we were and like, like what are you head. doing? For me, I grew up with two cats and I only remember one of them because one was beat up by foxes in the forest. So I'm glad we can relate. We lost him to that. <laughs> And then the other one was just a homie. And I'd say the first animal that I personally got was actually like a little mouse. And then because we got, m or no, I got a snake first and then we got mice and then we fed them to the snake. I, we got like a snake. I'm pretty sure we found this snake in our yard. And we're like, this snake is our snake. snake. We called him snakeity snake. <laughs> And then we got mice for him, and I loved the mouse we got so much that I wouldn't let them feed and it you, to like, the snake. kept it. So the mouse was my pet. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. So. Okay, glad we really. Mm -hmm. Do you remember where your first sleepover was? Honestly, probably your house. <laughs> what? You were like 11. I, I didn't have friends. So I just hang out with Sid's brothers all the time, because I, I didn't like spite Sydney, but I was just like annoyed of her. So like, I'd just sleep over with her brothers all the time and we'd play video games till like 2 a.m. So that was fun. And I would come hang. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> my first sleepover with Sydney. Why are you that everywhere? You're in all of my stories. Cause we grew up together. I know, it's just funny. My first sleepover was like my two best friends growing up. We'd always like sleep over at each other's houses. Mm -hmm. Actually, my first sleepover was at the hospital the night I was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually so funny. So I was gonna say, when was your first kiss? Oh no. But the funny thing is that we had our first kiss on the same night. Oh. <laughs> in the same room. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's really awkward. <laughs> so my first kiss was on New Year's and so was Dallin's. And me and my sister had been planning how we were both gonna like kiss our boyfriends on New Year's. So I had a boyfriend at the time and her and Dallin were I dating. I was dating. Don't worry, I was mad about it. <laughs> And so we both like, da and then my, my sister and Dallin kissed on New Year's and this was like 6th grade and 7th yeah. grade and then I kissed my like little 6th grade boyfriend. So we both had our right. first kiss on the same night, I never thought Cute of that. Goals. That is funny. So our first kiss... Went a little like this. Yes. 
So we were at Sydney's mother's house. Which is now my brother's house. But um, it was icing that night and I like almost didn't come over because the roads were icy, but I still came over. And then I had to like scrape all the ice off my car once she walked me out. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, like I was gonna hug her goodbye. Wait, and wait, then, first thing oh. to, so it was like so icy, like we were literally ice skating like down the driveway and down the road. And like mm -hmm. we have to help each other back up because it was like, you literally would fall if you stood up. And yeah, so then he went to hug me goodbye. And she was still like slipping and sliding everywhere because I, th I guess she told me now. I was, was so nervous. Like I didn't want to make eye contact because I knew he was going to kiss me because he had kind of been like almost doing it like a couple times until then. So I just, I knew it was about to happen, but it was like my childhood crush likes me back. He's going to kiss me. So I was like freaking out. So I just kept like looking down and like sliding away from him and being like, Ooh! Yeah, she was being like a little like four-year-old. And it I was, was really cute. I was like 16 at the time, so it's like I was old enough to hold my own, but like I just couldn't. <laughs> yeah, so then she was just slipping and sliding around, and then I just like pulled her in and was like, hey, hey, babe. That is not how it happened. We just finally made eye contact, and then you leaned in and kissed me. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so we say goodbye. And then, this is the funniest part. Oh, I think I've told you this. This is the yeah. worst part. I go back inside, and my mom just, like, knew that we had kissed. And so, she was playing, like, a song, like, my first kiss. Not, it wasn't oh. that song, but it was, like, about, like, your, your first, first kiss. kiss. And it wasn't my first kiss, obviously, but it was our first kiss together. My mom knew I had a crush on Dal for, like, eight years. So she was like freaking out and then we both were like dancing in the kitchen and she was like, That's you're awesome. so happy and I was like, I know, I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> I said that was the worst part because I thought you were gonna tell the next day or whatever when we had Valentine's Day. So yeah, the next day we went on our first like official oh. date since, because we kind of like didn't know like we were a thing or not because we were like mm -hmm. hanging out but we never really said anything. So after our first kiss, we are like, okay, obviously this is happening. So we went on an official date on Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day. And then we get home and like my whole family was over and my dad was like, okay, like time to go. So I was oh. upstairs with Alan and we were kissing goodbye. Keep in mind, this is our second, this is our second kiss, kiss ever. So it was like super awkward. His mom walks in and she was like, she, her she face, she uh. was like, hey. And then she like stopped and I turned around and my face is like red, I'm so embarrassed. And her <laughs> face, she was like. She, she told us now that she, she had no thought that this would ever happen. Like she did not expect that at all. So her walking into that, she was like, yeah. like ghost pale. She was like, what? Like it wasn't like a I'm mad or anything. It no, was she like was a, just startled. She was like literally in shock because she had no idea we liked each other. So then I went downstairs and then it was even more awkward because my dad talks so much. And keep in mind, these are like our family best friends. So of course he talks and talks and talks. And I was like, can we go? Come on, dad, let's. Go! And so I was like, get outside, we're leaving! My favorite is you kind of just like went downstairs as soon as it happened, and then I like kind of walked up to her, and then she was just like, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I do not know what just happened, but do you. Oh, that is so funny. Uh, so now that we talked about our first kiss, we're gonna talk about the first time we said I love you and who said it. So before we say anything, and if you already know this because we've told the story before, then comment down below, but who, you who think? do you think? said I love you first. So I feel like people think I'm the one that said it, but really it was this one. So basically we hadn't started dating yet, but we had been talking for like a month, two months, something like that. And we went on a cruise and before we ever even thought about liking each other, Dallin had booked this cruise with my family mm -hmm. and we took an RV there. So the whole RV trip, and we had talked about it before, we agreed, well, we didn't agree, but Dallin said he didn't want to be dating when we went on it because that would make it even more awkward. Yeah, between, Even though yeah. like I was staying in my parents' room, he was staying in the room with my brothers because we had like me, my sister, my parents, and then all the boys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's still just like, you know, who, yeah. my parents would not let my boyfriend come on vacation with us if it wasn't like our family friends yeah. and like no one knew we were really a thing. So we're like, okay, we'll keep it low key. Well, we spent like every single night on this cruise together, just like alone, because everyone else was doing like stuff. And Who we're knows just, like, what? I don't know, so we'll, we'll, we'll just hang out. So then one night, we were sitting on the top deck, cuddling on one of the chairs, and he told me he loved me. We were getting like super deep that yeah, night, and it was just like, talking about stuff and I just felt like I hadn't been on that level with anyone before so yeah and then I think I waited like a couple minutes I don't and even then remember. I don't I don't really remember either but then I said it back and then yeah 
And now we're married. So good job, thanks. Go I feel like we should tell the story of how you asked me out and then we can talk about Oh, it was a great asking out story. You should tell it, because I just told the last one. Oh, um, This is some tea. We get back from the cruise, and then still hanging out, going good. And then I'm about to go to Tahoe with my family. <laughs> because we go on like an annual boys snowboarding trip kind with, of thing. Like all the brothers in my family yeah. and all the boys in his family go on a trip. I didn't ask her like a week before, and then like half a week before I still didn't ask her. And she's like, what the heck? Come on, and then like the day before I leave, or like the day I It was the I day leave, you left! The day I leave, Sid's like in her car with, or in, it was in my car, right? I think it was, it was in, in your my car. car. It was in your, yeah, because yeah, I was looking car. at you like... And I was like, never gonna ask me out. And then I was playing some music, some like, you know, coupley music. I was playing <laughs> the song Mine by Bozzy. And then finally... I just like leaned over to her and was like, Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? No, literally not even that. He was like, hey, I'm leaving for Tahoe today and like, I don't want to leave without asking you. So will you be my girlfriend? I was like, really? You're going to ask me out and then leave in like two hours? Well, it's now we'll be a couple. So it's like, so our yeah. first week of relationship was actually long distance. Yes, it was. And we barely talked because you were constantly snowboarding. <laughs> we played Fortnite from across the That's true. The whole the time world. he was gone, I'd go to his mom's house or to his house. And this was like when I feel like I was first accepted in the family. Yeah. Like I got the garage code. Like I was, they you trusted in. me. And I'd just go in his room and play Fortnite with him while he was in Tahoe. So that was fun. Comment down below if you guys want us to make a video just like called like our love story or something. And we can go into detail about like. How it all came I about. To go I think no, it'll be good. It'll be good. Now, what you've all been waiting for. Everyone wanted us to make an entire <laughs> video about this, but I feel like that's just like that's so why weird, would we like, talk about awkward. that for that like, long? Who cares? So we're gonna talk about our first time having SEX. What's that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go through everything yeah, you guys take, have asked. Take it away, Sid. You got <laughs> so it. So, everyone keeps asking you for your virgins. Yes, we're both virgins. We waited till marriage. We had SEX for the first time on our wedding night, and it was great. I don't know why people want us to make a whole video. I think it's because people think because we were virgins, it would be awkward, uncomfortable, all these things. But the truth is that if you marry someone you love, there's nothing embarrassing, yeah. nothing awkward, nothing you can't say, do, or whatever in front of each other. So honestly, it was really, really fun. And it was just like, we were like laughing half we were just the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> and like, I know it can be, if you're waiting, it can be scary. Like, what if I don't know what to do? But you'll know. It just comes naturally. Like, as humans, we just go together. It just works. <laughs> so don't worry about the details just have fun be in love and the best thing is that we've worked through like everything together like we're learning about it together so yeah I think it's fun it's great and 10 out of 10 would recommend waiting if that's what you want to do but that then, much more special yeah there's no more details to give other than that it was fun yeah so I don't know what else to say so that's why I didn't want to make a whole video about it because one it's personal and two who cares <laughs> and yeah. three there's no details to give it was just it just like happened and it was fun. Yeah, anytime we ask about a Q&A or any question, I swear like half of the questions are Talk about talk your first about, time. Do you guys do it a lot? Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, like everyone wants to know about our sex life, but like there's no details to give. Like think about any newlywed couple, okay? You just, you do it when you want to. It's always fun. You learn together, you experiment together. It's a good time and there's no other details to give. So yeah. There's not much to say. So stop asking. No. <laughs> That's it. This is all your questions answered. No more asking details. Well, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit of tea about our lives. This was a fun video, actually. Yeah, that was I a good time. It. Yay! Look at us go. Can I have a kiss? I love oh. you. Okay. Okay. Should we turn the camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We love you guys, and also, if you guys have any videos you want us to film, obviously we're kind of stuck in the house for now, so comment them down below, because I'm not very creative right now, running out of ideas. There's only so many There's videos you can film so in your house. There's only so many things you can Okay, we need help. Help us out. What do you want to see? If you guys are new, it would mean the world if you could hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button. button. It's, it's free, free to subscribe, and it helps support us 
and we really want to spoil our pets so if you could subscribe and maybe buy that merch we could buy them more toys speaking of we this just bought true. them a giant cat wheel so fun videos coming soon okay we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> As soon as this video turned off, Dallin lifted me up and there was a literal lamp right there and I just slammed my head. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I love you.